so yeah so for $2.99 a good well somebody had done Genesis 23 they had done the theme of Isaac and Rebecca they had wrote that out but other than that I mean I really haven't seen anything but I was really looking for like a journal Bible um, somebody on here or the oh one of my Instagrams lady oh, I will have to look and see salty biscuit the salty biscuit she has where it's just like one column but you got a bunch of blank space on this side and a bunch of blank space on this side and you can take notes look her up on Instagram it is amazing um, and I was kind of looking at one of those every Christmas I've done so much writing and note taking and throughout the course of the year and I always keep my old Bibles so there's a stack of my guys stack of them and stack of planners and my husband's done my go why are you keeping especially like the planners and I'm like because it's like a it's almost like a memory record I can look back and there is one planner that she actually takes like the instapix or pictures the little pictures and she will put in her planner it's it's kind of like half scrapbook half planner um, and I love that idea so I might try to implement that idea for um, 2020 I don't know I'll have to see what it takes to get like pictures from either my phone or my um, camera printed um, I, I've got to look into that anyway. Anywho, um, I'm trying this one as far as journaling. You see my little doodles? I am not a drawer. Yeah, I'm not a drawer. Um, I do more notes. I was just kind of doing that to see um, if I would be able to. So, if you have... A specific Bible and the only reason and another reason why I don't like this it's called a study Bible now my old Bible is a study Bible y'all have seen it it have like the verses like this half and down here this half is the interpretation or notes like you know you also find this in these chapters or these verses or these books of the Bible or remember if it especially if it's like in the New Testament remember this was prophesied in Isaiah I love that as far as okay you know you're you're still learning honey if I got to the point if we get to the point we ain't got nothing to learn God will call us on home. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm still learning. And so, this is more where they actually show you at the very beginning. Um, like an observation, interpretation, application. And that's like the soap me method. And I believe in that. Y'all know that. But this is almost like K. Arthur. Of, and I've done K. Arthur studies before. Of how she actually wants you to mark like that. And that's all well, good, and fine. But it is not... It, it doesn't tell you, okay, this is where you're going to find, you know. But this is how you're supposed to have it, like, marked up. And I, like I said, I've done a K. Arthur study Bible. Uh, not a study Bible. We've done a K. Arthur study before. Um, believing God was Beth Moore. K. Arthur was choosing hope. I think is what the name of it was. Um, so I'm just trying to take the last part of 2019. Like I said, I found this at the thrift store. And it was like, ba it's, 
It's like brand new. And for $2.99, I figured I would give it a whirl toward the end of 2019. See how it works. See if I like it. Um, if not, whenever we head back that way, I might look at some more. They had some other ones. Um, but nothing like what I was truly looking for. And then my sister sent me. She's cleaning out some of her stuff. And she knows that I love, like, the Bible study journals. Um, and this actually is... 180 and encouraging Bible reading for women um, and it's got like the <clears throat> getting to know God better knowing Jesus better growing your faith great women of scripture gratitude and forgiveness um, yeah and it you know we'll start with like a Bible verse and a thought and then the questions. So, I've got something I can, you know, kind of fall back on if I need something to a Bible study. I've got a bunch of different little devotions or just blank journal books. And I will just kind of stack up. And as I work my way through, I work my way through. Um, it depends on if I'm doing a Women Living Well Bible study or, you know, the Good Morning Girls Bible study or, um, like right now, <clears throat> excuse me, for the month of December, we're reading a chapter of Luke a day. Um, there are 24 chapters in Luke. You start with December the 1st, you work your way by December the 24th, Christmas Eve, you're finishing up. Luke so um, and that was a good and so for the 24th through I will either work on this or I will just pick a chapter and just take some journal notes you know I'll just kind of go from there um, and our Good Morning Girls, we won't start back up with that until January something something. Um, and I think we're doing second. No, we're, we've already done Kings. Is it second Daniel maybe? I'll have to look and see. I'll have to look and see. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But if you have... A journal Bible or a study Bible that you're working through that you have found is just wonderful comment down below and let me know because I am I am on the hunt I am on the hunt um see now if you look kind of at that page this is Job and it's got a little bit more room but it does have some of the verses that you can look at but it doesn't really have those study notes. It's where you're supposed to mark. <clears throat> and I'm going to try it that way. I'm going to make like a, a copy of how I'm supposed to mark it. Because I can't keep flipping back and forth. And I think maybe if I made like a <clears throat> Excuse me. A copy of how it's supposed to be done. Anywho. My day holds. <laughs> I am still lo loving my, that's another thing I'm looking into as far as planners. I'm still loving my Unbound, where I can choose what goes in, where my pockets are. That's like I got my medical orders here. Anytime I get lab work or test or whatever, um, I've got my MRI in here. This is that pocket because everywhere I go, they'll either ask for, and this has also got my new treatment. I start January the 6th through the 10th. Y'all keep me in prayer. I have to go to UAB for the... Um, 
infusion therapy thing for the the I can't even think. It didn't fry my brain cells. The stronger dose of gamma. I've got to do five days in a row. That it made me so sick for one day. I've got to do five days in a row for six hours. So I've got to call them and find out. You know, are y'all planning on putting me in the hospital? I cannot make that trek every day. Bo can't drive me every day. He can't take off that many days. Um, you know, we've got to come up with another plan. So, um, I, I need to call and do that. I'm going to. But here's what my planner is looking like for today. Da, 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 da. I just did a simple little. I'm using some of my Christmas stickers. I'm loving having my little blank note pages. I've learned how to fold. And in that way, I can get different notes on there. That was one of my things I was supposed to do today. I've looked up some different cake batter cookie recipes. Um, and a dunk cake recipe. I had these grand expectations of making Christmas candy. That's not happening. And Samantha from Happily a Housewife, I know I've talked about her channel before, and I've linked it before, and I'll leave a link down on this one again. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I'm making a note, Happily a Housewife. Um, she had done confetti cookies, and it's using... The fun fatty cookie batter. Well, I looked it up. You can use actually any kind of cookie. Uh, not cookie batter. Lord forgive me. Cake batter. You can use any kind of cake batter. I've got a ton of cake mixes in there. I kind of bought along while I was at Aldi. Um, we, we are not cake people. Um, but I bought for different things like dump cakes. We want a dump cake. We love it. It's more like a cobbler. Um, I was going to make one of those. Um, I wanted to make those Funfetti cookies. I've got some Christmas sprinkles in there. Um, and then I looked up other cake batter cookies. Um, I also wanted to do some million dollar bars. Sunday evening we are doing our cantata at church and we are supposed to bring finger foods so i figured if i picked like one type of cookie today get that done and i can get them in the freezer i know that any of the cookies that i bake they'll freeze fine they'll thaw fine um wednesday i'm going to be home i can do some baking Thursday, eh, I've got my gamma treatment, and I'm running on empty anyway. And Bo reminded me, we had been go, go, go all this past week, and I didn't have my treatment. So, and my body, I think, is just trying to play catch up. But it was wonderful. And it's, I feel almost like, have I done the wrong thing by skipping the Christmas but then he reminded me, he's like, "Hun, don't you remember you were the one that told us Christmas is not about, it's about God. It's about Jesus Christ being born on this earth to save us. That is our gift. That is our Christmas. And that was another whole reason of doing the cruise. That way we could have kind of like our little worldly Christmas and then come Christmas we could truly remember what we're here for what Christmas is here for and I'm like you are so right so yeah part of me is like whenever I see a Instagram post or a Facebook post or somebody's YouTube Thing of, you know, I gotta get the decorations done. I gotta get the presents done. I gotta get this done. I gotta get the bacon done. I gotta get the gifts wrapped. 
And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have not done any of those things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and part of me is like, well, you know, maybe one little tree. Are we missing out by not even having one little tree? Um, and then I'm like, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> we did order... Have your kid leave a room or turn this off if they're watching. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Okay? Have the kids left a room? Have you turned this off? Okay? Alright. For Carol Beth. Um, hey, Carol Beth! And then um, we got Alice Marie, a little something something from Oma and Opa. We can't forget our baby girl. We got Alice Marie something. And we got our little John Deere tractor she can ride. <laughs> I love it. It's just a little push one. It said for nine months to three years. So it's just a little push one. She has to actually use them, them feet. It's not a pedal one. It's, it's the push them kind. Um, so we got that for her. I think she will have a ball with that. I know Opa's going to have a ball with her with that. And the Build-A-Bear. Yeah, and we got her Build-A-Bear. And uh, then her little Mexican dress we bought her. So that is her Christmas from Oma and Opa. And then... Uh, I had a gift certificate um, I had earned through Amazon, and so I just, all my older kids, um, I broke it down, I got them each, all my guys, I did a $10 gift card a piece to Krispy Kreme, all my girls, I did a $10 gift card a piece to Panera Bread. So, and that is, that is it. That is, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I figured that we can either go to their homes and, you know, we'll have their trees. I know we're spending Christmas Eve with Erin and her family, and we're looking forward to that. I do have some stuff in my gift closet that I can do up for her mom and her grandma's um so i gotta do that um yeah yeah so i do have a little note over here of wrap presents it's not many we just kind of those that didn't go on the cruise with us are getting a little salt song um, and people that were going to their homes, they're getting a little salsa. But um, oh, other than that, so today I'm going to work on, I found my recipes last night. Um, our laundry, I got to work on that. I might clean our bathroom, I might not. We shall see. I've done spent 30 minutes running my pie hole. Y'all missed that, haven't you? <laughs> okay, hey, Huns. I can't tell. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out angles and lighting and, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have made up my bed. I've done my prayer time. Y'all saw that. Um, I figured I would just kind of do a fast forward of how that works um i am doing some laundry it is we got our laundry from our trip um mine and fat man's personally got all of it done but before we left i was a bad egg i had so much i was trying to get done i did not get our normal laundry done before we left 
changed our sheets on our bed. Let me turn this washer off for a second. And I changed our sheets on our bed because Aaron house sat and puppy sat for us. And so we told her she was more than welcome to use our bed. Um, we figured she would be more comfortable in there and had the ensuite bathroom. And so um, I told her I made sure I, you know she had clean sheets. Um, and so all oh, those are in there dirty. And so I got laundry that literally piled up to here. There wasn't trip laundry. <laughs> Which in a way is kind of a good thing. Because trip laundry, we had one whole suitcase of just dang it. Um, we have been letting shoes that got away. I think I told y'all about the steak. Um, we finally discovered it was our, the girls. It was us girls. It was not uh, the boys. Let me tell you something about us rotten girls. We have stinky feet. Evidently, they get it from their mama. Um, and so we have been letting shoes dry in front of this fan. Now, the very first day we got home, that Saturday, we immediately unpacked that wet bag. I made sure everything stinky, everything wet. I told them I said, goes in this plaid bag. I sacrificed my initial sink bag with my name on it for the stink. It's gotten better. I've been letting it air out up here. I've had it open, I've had dryer sheets in it, I've been letting the fan blow on it. The shoes have dried out. They don't stink near as bad. So that was the first bag we immediately unpatched, got in here, got washed. That was my brain fault. Anywho, today laundry is top of my day. Like I said, ours is stacked here. And it's laundry from before we even left. Um, while I'm in here, uh, hold on. When I came in here to kind of start doing ours, I realized the boy still had his trip laundry left in here. And so I'm finishing it for him just so I can free up the washer and the dryer. Go ahead, gonna be a nice mama doing that for him, um, just so I can kind of get his out of the way. We have had it before where if their laundry is in process, they know the rule. If it's in the way and your day is over, I will kick it over to the side and I will start ours and <laughs> you get yours when you good and well can because you should have done it your day. I'm being lenient this week due to the fact we're all behind. Um, and so, rules do not apply this week. <laughs> well, you're still all mellow mom dumb. <laughs> um, I did want to sweep in here. So, on my list of things to do, my chore list, laundry, bathroom and vacuum i think i'm going and then tomorrow i was supposed to sweep and mop but while i'm in here and i'm waiting on the laundry to get his to kind of finish and process i think i am going to take the time just to kind of sweep up what i see i'm not going for a full deep martha stewart clean i am just going for let's get the dog food up um you know, that type thing. Let me know down below. A, do they still make dustbusters? If you're a kid or an adult from like, if, you know, around in the 80s, if you knew about dustbusters, I'm talking about the kind that charged on the wall. Yeah, dustbusters. Do they still make those? Because that. This would be a perfect situation for a dust buster. Um, something that I don't have to, you know, actually get it, break out the big old room and get handled. I'm going to try to see if I can just kind of 
spot sweet with my thing. I love this joker. That'd be the only thing with the dust buster I would have to bend down. Big Mama don't feel like bending down. I had the epidural shot yesterday and no, as of right now, it has not worked. Yeah, no. My leg and foot and back and all still hurt. So if they ask me percentage wise, how did it help? See that, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna spot sweep in here. I'm working on his laundry and then I'm gonna get going on our laundry. And I did want to get at least one thing baked today. And I think my easiest actually might be the dump cake. Because you just dump it. Dump and bake. And uh, I actually think I was going to do it for us here at home. So, anyhow, spot sweet. Okay, real quick, no off track. Like, yeah, I was supposed to be doing laundry. Yeah, <laughs> I was supposed to be sweeping the laundry room. This is like if you give a mouse a cookie. Um, I started sweeping the laundry room and I came across my little stand up cooler. Hey, baby girl. Hey. She is going to sweep off the porch for me. Thank you, darling. We have got leaves galore. I made this stand. Last year we did this. And I've been meaning to do it this year. And so I'm finally getting around to it. If you've never done a delivery man, just giddy box thing, think about it. They are doing so much and working so hard this time of year. Um, I leave a note in the mailbox. Because a lot of things, if it'll fit in the mailbox, they just stick it in there. So I put a note in the mailbox. You know, please come to the porch. Help yourself to snacks. Usually I will have an assortment of... I'm going to move out of her way. She's working. I'll have like an assortment of bottled water, Sprites. The only thing I have right now is Diet Cola. So, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> and then I just made a goodie bag with a box with chips they can choose from, candy they can choose from, the little peanut butter crackers, raisins, and fruit snacks. Um, and it just figures whatever we have on hand. Sometimes it's granola bars, sometimes it's cereal bars. It's literally just whatever you have on hand in your pantry. Um, and I just took the bin from here. Um, like the jello cup i knew that, that wouldn't work um they probably wouldn't have a spoon or any way of using it those raisins have been sitting here for a while i mean they're still good they aren't expired but um i just kind of took things um that man might not be too pleased that i used his peanut butter crackers he picks these out at um aldi's when we went to all these the other day they are so much cheaper at sam's but we haven't been to sam's in forever um so uh used to i would do the uh popcorn and put the thanks for popping by and i might do that again this year but i like having them snacks that they can eat in the truck I mean, we literally saw our post lady the other day, um, and this was Sunday. They actually deliver on Sundays now. U United States Postal Service delivers on Sunday. I only like packages. She was actually delivering at 7 o'clock at night. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you got to think they've got to be hungry thirsty you know and so if it's just a small token or gesture like that that we can make to make their holiday a little bit their christmas a little bit better um for all their hard work to make sure that we um and i'm saying we as in everybody has a good christmas then giving them some water and some fruit snacks is the least we can do right um yeah yeah 
Oh, I don't know. Did I ever show that picture? That was when we went to the Dickens Christmas. I've got it on our fridge. That's what made me think of it. Okay. Procrastination. It is finest, y'all. Laundry. <laughs> Baby girl is just kind of sweeping out the leaves for me, and I think she's about got that's good enough, sweet girl. Thank you, because the wind is just blowing them right back on, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So the, that's... The wind wasn't helping. The wind wasn't helping at all. So, but she got the majority of it up. At least it doesn't look like, you know. I must be going to work here. I, I still have ball rays up. They might stay up. I might not take them down. I don't know where my Christmas ones are. I don't know where my Christmas mats are. I'm not stressing about it. I'm not going to think about it. We are just going to go with the flow. Um, like I said, I did buy these. Aren't they cute? They're the little red truck. You got three of them. I bought two sets. They were only like what did we pay for these, baby girl? Like a dollar ninety-eight. Like seriously, at Walmart, they were either a dollar ninety-eight or two ninety-eight for the three-pack. And it's got that truck on it. This is when I had aspirations of I was gonna do my Christmas candies and cookies and bourbon balls and all the fun stuff. Not happening. Not happening. I am going to try <laughs> to work on confetti cookies and um, million dollar bars and if I get a chance, sorry, to uh, go to Sam's, we are going to have, I forgot laundry soap and all these the other day if you've never tried the Aldi version of Game, it is. But the Sun or the Extra at Walmart is a better buy. But it doesn't get the funk out as good. So, you know, tit for tat, which, which one's the better of the duos. So, um, I'm doing Brian's laundry right now. He usually doesn't watch the vlog unless he's in it. As I was taking it, I found money. Found four dollars. Carol Beth was in here when I found it. I gave her a dollar for her silence. <laughs> Do you know, baby girl? I bought her silence for a dollar. Um, and so I'm keeping the other three because I'm doing his laundry. I'm doing his laundry because I'm, yeah. I figured this is my Christmas. I'm giving of myself to him in this deed. These are dry yet. So, sweep the laundry floor. <laughs> Okay, I was picking up the den, trying to get some things in there just kind of tidied up. You know, if it just, if it looks cluttered, it looks dirty. So at least just folding up the blankets, even though I have not cleaned anything. Just folding up the blankets, throwing the trash away, um, lighting a candle. That has made all the difference in the world in this room. And seriously, that is all I did. There was some trash over there that needed picking up. There was some used tissues. Poor Carol Beth has got like a sinus thing. So I just picked up some random trash. Um, straightened up the table just a little bit. Lit a candle. Hoping to don't catch us on fire. Um, and I really need to clean up this one. Um, do you see how clutter... And then I'll show this one once I get it cleaned off. But I'm kind of moving on into the kitchen. Um, and the puppy 
Well, it was Dotson, and I saw it advertised it in the Aldi paper. And I told Bo, I said, if they have a Dotson when we get there, I, we are getting it. We are, like I said, Carol Beth knows she don't even ask anymore. If she sees anything Dotson, she automatically puts it in the cart. Well, she didn't go with us. Uh, it was just me and Fat Man Sunday that went. And uh, sure enough, they had one at the very top toward the back. And I told him, I said, you stand on whatever you got to stand on to get that Dotson back there. He's like, what Dotson? I said, oh, I'm short and I can see it. I've done zoomed in on it. <laughs> so, but tonight for supper, I was kind of showed, uh, this was one of the things that we had gotten Sunday. You look for those dollar off or two dollar off or five dollar off or whatever off stickers. And if it has like a dollar off and a two dollar off, it's three dollars off. So these I've had in the freezer for quite some time. I mean, not that they're old or anything. Use your freeze by August. That's roughly when I bought them was August. So, and this was one of the things that I got on sale from the Montgomery one when they first opened. It was $7.43, $5 off, made it $2.43. This one was even better. $5 off, and it was $6.59. So I paid $1.59 for this bag. Yeah. So, tonight we are going to do, um, and they're like top round steaks, and yeah, they're both top round steak. So, all I'm going to do is put them in my crock pot. I've got a little bit of liquid smoke. I'm going to try something different. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit of this to it just to see what happens. Um, I've got some new potatoes I'm going to do. Um, I planned on mashed potatoes, and I probably still will for Becca since she can't chew. Um, but I was going to do the brown gravy mix and the ranch. You mix these two together. It's kind of like Mississippi roast. You mix the two together and then you can do the pepperoncinis. I'm not adding the pepperoncini. Um, and whenever I was at Aldi, I did go ahead and pick up a couple of packets of the Italian. They're only like 29 or 39 cents a piece. And so they're great to have on hand for if you need. I grabbed a couple more of the ranch ones too. Um, for like Italian chicken or um, they're great for fish yeah yeah they're great to sprinkle on potatoes you can use them virtually any kind of way and they're just good to have on hand they're cheap enough hold on I'm trying to fix my tripod it's been forever since I've used it so yeah um, they're cheap enough that you can go ahead and grab a few have them on hand, and then that way if you're stuck or at a loss for like what's for a side or or tired of the same old, same old, we need to do something different, um, you know, you can throw those on whatever. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, y'all. So, maybe this is a good idea of me trying to do, do this at all. All right, so I'm going to get this going in my slow cooker, and I'll be back once I've got it assembled and kind of show y'all. Okay, so now I've got it assembled. What I did since I had two pieces... I did like half my packet, well, it wasn't quite half, but I did half my ranch, half my brown gravy, a little bit of brown uh, liquid smoke, and then I did the other piece of meat, 
with the other half of each packet and then some more brown smoke, uh, liquid smoke. Oh, I can't talk today. And I'm going to add just a smidgen of um, water. I did spray the bottom. I don't want it to stick. If I had a liner, crock pot liner, and I would have remembered to use it, I would have used it. But since usually if I buy them and I forget to use them, I don't buy them anymore. <laughs> I used to um, be faithful about getting them. And then I realized I would get them and not use them. So, yeah, one day I looked in the cabinet and I had like three or four boxes of them because I had not used them. So I'm just going to kind of slide this back a little bit, move that plant, and we're just going to kind of let it do on low. It is now 1130. I'm just going to kind of let this do on low. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm debating about adding a can of cream of mushroom soup. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a recipe where you can do onion soup mix, cream of mushroom soup, and then your beef and water. Oh my gosh. That, I think I've done that one before for y'all. That is the one that the gravy, you make sure you got biscuits, because baby sweet Jesus, you gonna use that gravy. Yes, ma'am, you are. It is so good. Um, I'm debating about adding a little bit more water to the top. I don't like how powdery it looks up top. I might let it go for about an hour, come back, see what it will look like. So, I think I will. I think I'm going to set my timer for an hour. And then come back and see what the top looks like. See how it's real powdery? I don't want that powder just kind of drying on there. Um, but yeah, anytime you're at Aldi or any grocery store, check the clearance mitt. If you see them red stickers, yeah, buddy boy. And like I said, Fat Man found those brats. We wound up with three packs. Normally $2.99 a pack. We got a $1.99 cents pack. They are not on the menu for this week. Um, but guess what? We're going to be having one night next week. You go ahead and you buy what's on sale. And if it's like a vegetable or a produce, you need to go ahead and use it. Um, and so that's why I usually will just put veggie. And work whatever's on sale in jar rotation. This week it was Brussels sprouts, zucchini, and potatoes. And that's what's going to be used. Um, but like the meat and the breads that are marked down, I just stick in the freezer. And then that's what I base our next week's menu off of. So, yeah, that's how we roll. That's how we roll. All right, here is Fat Man. Fat Man. <laughs> I told him, I said, I hated being in the real world. I should have stayed on that ship or an island. How are you doing, Fat Man? I'm good. Were you glad to go back to work or you want to be back on that ship? I rubbed be back on that ship. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all would rather be. So, Carol Beth, Carol Beth is tickled to death to be back, huh? <sighs> She ain't got to do laundry. She ain't got to do the cooking. Hold on. I'm trying to plug something in. Um, Foxy yeah. Clay, I'm home. Foxy is glad we're home. Fox, the both both puppies are just tickled to death that we are home. Um, whoa. Hey, y'all. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Um, I think mine is actually like the real world stuff. Uh, you have to do the cooking, the cleaning, the, yeah, just all of it. All of it, right? Mm -hmm. Where's on ship? 
You can go and get you something to eat and it's already made. All you got to do is put it on a plate, go sit down, get up, walk away, and you come back and that plate is magically gone. And you didn't have to do no dishes. You <laughs> Leave that plate there, go get your drink. That plate's gone. Yes. No yes. matter what was on it. Yeah, yeah. They would. They would take your <laughs> We learned that real quick. Not they take, they take your plate. And you might have a nibble or two left on it. <laughs> so we learned then to make sure your plate is clean or you leave someone in charge of. I still want this before you leave all right we are i'm working on putting laundry away i've got all of mine i've got my last load in the dryer yay and that man do what yeah. that man has started his yeah I, so I want drawers. yeah I'm trying to get my tripod straight something is right y'all are crooked Crooked, crooked, crooked. Something's wrong with y'all. <laughs> Anywho, I wanted to bring y'all in and let you see before I start uploading and everything. This is that steak. I wish I had smell a vision. Look at that. Remember, it was two whole pieces, and now it's just kind of breaking off. Um, it is so tender and it smells so good. Even Becca made the comment, she's like, what smells so good? And, uh, bless her heart, she is still swollen. She stayed home. I think I told you about that. She stayed home because of her teeth being pulled. It is, but her mouth is still swollen. If it is still swollen tomorrow, um, we are supposed to take her to our primary care physician and he will write an order to um, go to the emergency room or now that they have the cancer center right there, they've got the infusion center right there, they might be able to do it. I've, I've got to ask about that. They might be able to do it right there like at his facility. Um, without going all the way to the emergency room. Um, but if it's still swollen tomorrow, we're supposed to take her and see about getting IV antibiotics. So, because, yeah, it is still swollen. I mean, swollen. Her top, ugh. yeah, I can't even do it. Told her, I said, baby. The Kardashians pay good money to look like that. And you're, I don't know why. But bless her heart. That work has been wonderful. They, she's going to be off. She was already supposed to be off tomorrow and Thursday. And work told her, just keep your same off days. It's going to be fine. Um, she'll have a makeup day that she'll have to work. And that way she'll get all of her hours in. So that's good. Um, I hated to tell her that she needs to tell them she's got some more scheduled to be pulled the 30th. Bum, bum, bum. So, but uh, hey, we got to do what we got to do. But it smells so good in here. Um, all right, before I. Say adios, because it's done got one too long, I know. I'm just going to do some of these, um, he's watching car videos or something. Hey, on your phone. Um, I've got those new potatoes that I got from Aldi. I'm just going to kind of boil those up and do them with garlic and parsley. I've got to figure out why y'all are crooked. Something is amiss somewhere. Anywho, I was going to do them with um, garlic and butter and parsley. Um, 
It always turns out so good that way. And I think it'll be soft enough that Becca can squish and mush. There we go. She can squish and mush them enough that she can eat them. Um, she was able to get a grilled cheese down today. So, um, but yeah, I've just got these and now I've got some Brussels sprouts. So that is going to be supper and I think I'm going to let that be it for this video before, like I said, it gets way too long. So as far as my to-do list, I did get laundry done. I halfway cleaned my bathroom. I did sweep it. Um, and then what else? A vacuum. That didn't happen. Um, and I found all my recipes. Um, a sweep and mop was something for tomorrow. And baking. Um, so I'm just going to put vacuum. Because unless I have to take her for those antibiotics, and I'm afraid, I'm afraid that's what we're going to have to do. But better safe than sorry. I asked her if she wanted me to take her today after lunch, and she said no. So she said, let's give it one more day. So unless she is tremendously better by in the morning. We're gonna be going and I had to go ahead and go early in the morning and get you know because it'd be an all-day process I'm sure um, but that's okay that's okay all right so I'm gonna call it a day yeah the salt hair was amazing for my hair look at this okay I digress. All right, Tim, man, we want to tell anybody, hey, bye. Bye, guys. And remember, hit them buttons, subscribe to this channel. You're in it so infrequently, I guess I need to just change it to Big Mamas. Big Mamas. But Fat Man is the one that helps Big Mama make Big Mama. <laughs> Uh, all right. Get out and work sometime. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to start pimping you out in the world. <laughs> oh. All right. So, be good, be sweet. Put on your pearls. Flash your lights if you have to, ladies. Remember, sometimes you gotta wear them antlers. Yes, yeah, I, my antlers are in there. He can only play with my antlers in private. Yeah. Um, pop a pole or two. <laughs> he did that in Mexico. Hey, what happened in Cozumel stays in Cozumel. <laughs> yeah, pop a pole or two, ladies. Get your men all flustered. Have, make them wear them suspenders sometimes. Yeah. Like, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hey, they sent you in them suspenders. For formal night, you had them suspenders on. I did. I had to keep my breeches up. Yeah. We didn't, uh, we didn't have no way of bungee cording and we had three kids in our room. Okay. So none of that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, he did start kind of leaning over and he kissed me goodnight and Carol Beth's like wait 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 They're, we're looking we're looking close the um, what she said turn on light or something and we're like baby girl we ain't gonna do nothing no, no we don't <laughs> here yeah yeah and so in fact it finally wound up what that second night Everybody was so uncomfortable with, with their bedding arrangements. Back wound up in the bed with that man. I wound up on the cot that Brian had. That thing was comfortable. It was like sleeping in a cocoon. And Brian, when he tried sleeping on the deck, well, first Becca did, and that didn't work out. And then Brian decided that would be a great idea. 
Hey, and we were leaving the door open so we could hear the ocean and feel the breeze and all. Carol Beth is the one that came up with the idea. What happens if a seagull or a pelican blows in? And Brian went out and he started up it. So that I got in his bed. Becca finally got in the bed with that man. Well, then Brian came in because he got tired of getting sprayed by the water. So he told Carol Beth, scoot over. So when we all woke up, we kind of looked around. Okay. <laughs> And then the next night, I started out the bed with Fat Man, and somehow or another, I wound up in the bed with Carol Beth. Oh, she got up during the night, and uh, I had to lay down with her. And so, Becca went and got in the bed with Fat Man. They were complaining about the bar across the couch. So we took our comforter off and put it on their bed, give them some more padding. Probably would not have hurt thin people, but thick people feel everything. Kind of like the princess and the pee. When you got more weight pushing down on something, you feel things. So they felt the bars in the couch. And I finally went up that last night, that Friday night, I slept on the couch thing with Carol Beth. And uh, yeah, you could feel them. I, I do have to admit. Um. But out of all of them, Brian's so far the way caught. Let me tell you, that little booger had the best bed. So I told him, I said, next time we go, we're going to tell him we want the bed like me and Fat Man had. Leave the couch as a couch, and someone could lay on it without pulling it out. And we need two roll-away carts, roll-away beds. This is what I'm thinking. Um, Teresa, you're talking about booking yours. Girl, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I am so excited. Oh, girl, between now and then, we're going to have to talk. We're going to have to talk. You are going to love it. Now, the fantasy... At some point in time, they are going to um, try to get my thing real quick. I can't do nothing real quick no more. Not. Okay, Tanya, I'm sorry. I called you Teresa. I'm so sorry, Tanya. Um, anywho, y'all are going to have a ball. I'm so excited. I'm just as giddy as if we were going to go. And you've got fun ages. They are going to have a ball. you got to make sure, like I said, they're going to retire the fantasy. I don't know when. So y'all will, will have a either a brand new ship or a little bit bigger ship that will come. Um, and I don't know the I don't I don't know if they're gonna keep like the same theme. We had the Dr. Seuss theme and so they did the Seussapalooza parade, which we did not go to, but y'all every night they will leave a brochure of things to do. Take you a highlighter. Your high a highlighter will be your best friend. And kind of sit down together as family or whatever, or you and your husband, and y'all decide, you know, which ones you want to do. Can't do everything. You don't want to cram everything in. Um, you want that relaxation time. We would pick, like, okay, we want to go see. Usually our days, we didn't really do a lot other than hang out at the Serenity Deck or... Um, we would walk around the ship a little bit because we knew we had our excursion days coming up and we wanted to be, you know. Um, but your kiddos, build a bear, all the proceeds go to St. Jude, and I think they do that aboard every single carnival ship. So, and it was, it was fun. 
Um, they provided cookies and um, juice, and it was just, it was fun. Um, and the carnival workers are amazing with the kids. Um, but we had like the Dr. Seuss theme. So they did the Dr. Seuss parade. They had a meeting with the Grinch. They had um, the breakfast. Hey, we're all grown people and we did the green eggs and ham's Dr. Seuss breakfast. Just be warned, your French toast, your cereal, and they had all kind of weird names for the stuff, like, you know, Whoville or whatever. And the cereal-crusted French toast was lit, it was like that thick, and it was seriously covered in Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles and, I mean, all kinds of cereal. Becca got it, and then... Carol Beth got the Weepa Wappa Picky Papa something pancakes. And they came and they were red and white. And um, she said those were delicious. I had an egg white omelet that was amazing. Um, I had like mushrooms and spinach and Swiss cheese and all kinds put in it. But um, it was good. Nobody, the lady next to us, I think I told you about that, got the green eggs and ham. But it was a ball. We got to take pictures with the cat and see my am. And yeah, it was fun. It was fun. So, <sighs> anywho, I drugged this out, didn't I? I did. Put on your lights, put on your pearls, adjust your earrings, and I will see y'all next time.